All right, our second lesson for the day, except for period five in this block week, is just a review of all our factoring. All right, this is your homework. You can go ahead and print this out. I'm going to do maybe two or three problems with you. You're going to finish all of them on here. Here are the types of factoring we have done so far. GCF, and I'm always going to look for a GCF first. The second type was a difference of squares, and it looks like that. A squared minus B squared, both terms are perfect squares, and it factors into A plus B, A minus B. The trinomials, yes, we had special kinds with the um, perfect squared trinomials, but they can all be done using this little X. Sum and difference of cubes, they look like this. Write down your perfect cubes, and that'll help on this type of problem. But here are the factoring forms from a sum or difference of cubes and remember your SOAP and the SOAP stands for same, opposite, always positive. The first sign is the same as the original, the second one is the opposite, and the last is always positive. And then what we learned earlier today, grouping. Grouping, remember, has four terms. I don't see any problem here with four terms, so this is just all the factoring except for grouping. So let's do a couple problems. You're going to finish all of these and submit this, showing your work, of course. But the first thing I suggest is go through every single problem and see if you can find a GCF. I see a GCF on this one right here. And that GCF is a 50. So if I take out that 50, I'm left with 4x squared minus 1. But that 4x squared minus 1 looks familiar a squared minus b squared, where both of them are perfect squares. So in this case, my a is just the square root of the first term, so it would be 2x, and my b is the square root of the second term, which would just be 1. So I can factor this some more into a minus b times a plus b. So it had a GCF, but it also then was a difference of squares. Okay. Here, wow, that's the same problem. I wonder if you'll get that one right. All right, let's do a couple other ones. I want to do some of the summer difference of cubes because you need practice on those. And I see one right here. And if you don't know your perfect cubes again, you should write them down. Perfect cubes, 1 times 1 times 1, 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3, and so on. You can take your calculator. They actually have a special button called a multiplication or a raising to a power. And you can figure out these perfect cubes. The quicker you recognize them, the less time you're going to spend on these problems. Oops, 343, not 373. 512. 729, and then a 1,000, I'm not going to write it there. So this one here, I see 8 and I see 27. 8 and 27 are on the list. So in this case, again, to find the A, you just take the cubed root, or where on the list is this one? It's the second one on the list. The cubed root of 8 is 2, so it's 2x. And then B would be 3y. And according to our little rule here, this one's a minus, it would be A minus B. I already have my A and my B, so it's A minus B, so minus 3Y. Okay, so A minus B times A squared, so A times A would be 4X squared. Remember your SOAP, same opposite. The next term is A times B, 2X times 3Y would be 6xy, always positive. And the last term is b squared. So if you square 3y, you would get 9y squared. So that's a sum, or in this case, a difference of cubes. All right, let's try one more, and then you have the rest of them. Again, always look for that GCF. I see a GCF on this one. The GCF is 4. If I take out a 4, I'm left with 8x cubed minus 1. 
but I see eight is on the list of cubes, so is one. Could this be a difference of cubes? Yes. In this case, a is 2x, and b is just one. So, according to my rule, the first parenthesis is a minus b. The second parenthesis is a squared. Square that, you get 4x squared. Opposite sign, that was a minus, so this one's a plus. a times b, 2x times 1 would be 2x. Always positive. b squared would be 1. So that is factored completely. Now, I only did three, but you don't have that many left. Try to recognize what kind they are, but always look for a GCF. Ooh, I see 216 on my list here. I don't see 24 on my list. I don't three, see three on my list, but I see a common factor here. So finish that up, submit that, show your work. Have a great day.